what's up everybody welcome back to Jay's car channel and uh, today video number six on the Crown Victoria let's go ahead and pop the trunk let's see what we got in store all right so as you guys can see these trunk jams are beat down by life it's really bad really awful never been cleaned probably ever and this car is a 2005 so I mean it's close to 20 years worth of build up in here and who knows maybe somebody cleaned it at one time but they're pretty bad so I'm gonna clean these up and show you the difference that this process makes and I got a box full of goodies here first thing I got is some rinseless wash diluted uh, I think I've got it diluted 20 to 1 and I got some all-purpose cleaner Adams all-purpose cleaner it's diluted 2 to 1 two parts water one part all-purpose cleaner and then I've got a nice little bottle of CS3 which is a waterless wash with SiO2 protection so I like to use this anytime I'm doing door jams trunk jams I'll show you the process but it's pretty straightforward and then over here I got a bucket with some warm soapy water and I've got a little wheel woolly here got a trim and lug nut brush here and then I got a utility microfiber towel so I'll leave links to everything in the description oh and the last thing I've got down here is an FTW towel so that's gonna be for the CS3 application I'm gonna show you how that works but probably just do one side of this and just do a good comparison uh, before I get started on anything like this I always like to get all the loose debris out so you see all this like little leaves and stuff They're like little I guess this is like some little small buds flowers and whatever so get that out you know and um, let's get all that stuff out of there no need to leave that sitting around and you know if you got a forced air around you can just blow that stuff out a lot quicker but I'm just gonna use my hands this time they work just as well not too much up in this top tray so I'll leave that alone first step I'm actually gonna do is pre-treat this with some rinseless wash shake up the rinseless wash and go to spraying the areas here pretty heavily Just want to soak it down let it start to penetrate in there work on some of these contaminants it'll loosen things up so I've let the rinseless wash soak in for a few minutes and it's loosened things up a little bit I mean I can tell that some of this grime's coming off pretty easy with a swipe of a finger but I'm gonna punch up the cleaning power a little bit and spray this with some all-purpose cleaner before I go to agitating I'm going to take this little wheel woolly and uh, start scrubbing here. Probably want to start up at the top. Just get in there. Fits perfect in this little top portion here. Bring it on down here. You'll start to see a lot of stuff probably coming down through here. Basically this little wheel woolly is going to work. I basically just created what's called chocolate milk. I'll show you. Yeah, it's chocolate milk right there. So I'm gonna squeeze this out of here. Take it back to the bucket and rinse it off. Let's go back up here again. Once again, get your chocolate milk out. Put this back in the bucket. I'm gonna take this little trim and lug nut brush and I'm gonna get into the little areas the wheel Willie couldn't reach. All right, 
Get in there. This trim and lug nut brush can really get into a lot of little tight areas. It's a good thing. Go against the trim, clean it up. You can kind of take your hand and help keep the bristle straight, you know, to get in there better. Try to get a better angle here. You get your hand kind of up against the bristles. Let's see, see that part? Get all that out. Got chocolate milk on this little trim and lug nut brush, and I can't really squeeze it out, but I can bring it back to the bucket, kind of get it out of there. And I think I'm gonna take this wheel willy one more time. Go back up here. All right, more chocolate milk for the kiddos. And back to the bucket. And now I'm gonna take this microfiber towel, kind of wring it out a little bit, and take this up here. Start going to work. Good thing is this can fit in a lot of areas here, so. Let's take it back and forth here. Bring it down over here. Try to exit all this stuff out of here. And definitely hit this plastic. You know, you're gonna see all kind of junk coming out down here. That's all right, because this car hasn't been washed yet. I'm doing this before the wash process. And so now, I'm gonna take this rinseless wash and soak it again. Kind of break up all this soap and everything that's in here definitely hit the soap that hit the side there get that knocked down you know all right so that's looking better you know and i'm doing this one-handed so that's just going to show you how easy this is um looking better looking better Probably take the microfiber towel over it one more time and just kind of wring it out. You don't want a whole lot of soap and water in there, but just a little bit. I always like to try and make sure this seal is clean right here on the inside. So you get this seal here, clean it up. Go back over this rubber seal that's on the bottom of the back window. Make sure you got everything you can get off of there. It kind of has some little gaps and grooves in there. Get down into using a finger and a towel. Pretty good. See, that gets out of there. And get this plastic. You can come down there on the bumper a little bit. Don't be too crazy with it. I usually wait for the wash process to really get the bumper itself. Once again, spray it down with your trusty rinseless wash. It just knocks all the soap down and help to guide everything off that back bumper. It's like to get all that out of there. This rinseless wash. Treat it like you would if you had a hose in your hand, but I'm in an apartment complex, so I do not have a hose handy. So now I'm looking in here and this thing looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's a thousand times better than it was. And I'm gonna do my little CS3 trick now. So I've got my CS3 and I got a wet surface. It has rinseless wash on it. Otherwise, if you hose this down, then it would just have water, but it has rinseless wash. And I'm gonna take the CS3 and just kind of spray this channel here where the paint is, where the, where the painted surface is. I'm gonna keep, try to keep it in there and just give it a good misting. 
So, starting here. You don't have to go crazy with it, but you know, five or six sprays, maybe 10, I don't know. Now, take this FTW towel and just go back through. And actually, I might even spray a little bit on this towel. Now, you want to go back through, kind of pick it up, right? Make sure you get the painted surfaces, you know, this side that, that comes up right here. You kind of get the towel up against that, level off that CS3. And what that's doing is it's a waterless wash, so it's doing some cleaning, but it's also got, like I said, SiO2, so it's got a little protection in there. And it'll make this plastic look real nice, kind of keep it dark. Basically, it's gonna make this easier to clean the next time you do this. So, that's pretty much it. A one-handed way to clean your trunk jam. And I just did one half, so here's the half I didn't do. Let's see what it looks like. For comparison sake. Still funky, still nasty, still grimy. Over here, looking pretty damn good. If I do say so myself. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.